it is the best video yet before it's uh, the actual official videos, but it is a pack with me. Just a quick little caution. If you hear any banging or drilling or men talking or whatever, we are getting stuff done downstairs. So that is that. But I'm currently upstairs and you can literally hear everything. So this is really a bit annoying, but just ignore. They've got to do the job. So I am so excited for today's video because we literally, we literally go on holiday tomorrow. I mean, talk about last minute. That is me. Hello. I have just currently washed my tan off and I'm going to put a fresh layer on in a minute. After packing, I couldn't even try and pack with freshly put tan on so you know it would probably go everywhere and whatnot so i'm gonna wait but this tan is so amazing i speak about it in my next video so you'll see that you'll see exactly what i'm on about but wow so i am so excited for this video i cannot wait i can't believe how easy it is to actually pack for just going for seven nights on holiday it was easier, it's far more easy than two weeks. So this is the suitcase that I'm taking. We are taking two suitcases. So I think we are allowed 25 kilograms. We are flying with Virgin Atlantic. I think we're gonna have a lot to bring back considering Scott packs light all the time, no matter where he's going, even on a two week holiday. And I normally pack very, very heavy and I feel like this is actually gonna be really, really good. So this is my case. I got it from Primark. It has done us wonders. I can't remember how much it was, but Primark suitcases are quite good. We don't have the um, plasticky ones. I wanted the plastic ones because they had the, like a Mickey Mouse and a Minnie Mouse on. And if you haven't gathered already, guys, I'm going to Florida. I'm going back to Disney World. We are full of magic. We are full of, we're just in magic mode right now. We're just in full of Mickey Mouses and Disney and just castles and just living in my fairy tale dream world right now. That's what I'm, I'm literally living right now. So I wanted that, but I am so afraid of them cracking and stuff. You hear things about them kind of cases as well. So we have just gone with this normal little one. And then I do have a little Minnie Mouse tag that we got from Primark again. Oh no, we never. This is American Touristo. I don't know where I got that from. Maybe Amazon. I think I got that from Amazon. Um, and Scott's got a Mickey Mouse one on. So this is gonna do us great. Scott's suitcase is a bit bigger than mine as well. So his can fit a lot more in than mine. But yeah, this is what we are taking. And I can just see everything just dotted around the room. So let's get into this video. If you are new here, hi, my name is Crystal and I absolutely love Disney, if you haven't noticed already. I am doing lifestyle, homey, fashion and just like everyday vlogs this year. But we are going to throw a lot of Disney in the mix because there's going to be Disney vlogs after this video and there should be some already on my channel i just i cannot wait for this so if you are new and you want to become bffs then please subscribe and like this video because it really helps us out and if you are a turning bestie then hi i love you to the moon and back thank you so much for always being the best and welcome to all the new bffs we're gonna have the best holiday ever so without further ado let's get into this video all right so what am I going to show you first? I think I'm going to get my toiletries all ready and put into a bag. So the first thing is I have this toiletry bag. I don't know if it's going to all fit, but we're going to try it out. We're going to try it. So just a quick rundown of my skincare. I am going to be taking a little mini Lizelle toner. I've got an eye brightening soothing lotion. Um, I don't I couldn't find a mini version of that so I'm gonna have to take the big but it's nearly empty so it's not too bad weight wise then I've got my Charlotte Tilbury magic cream this has an SPF of 15 in it I think it is or is it a bit higher than that yeah SPF 15 so that's gonna do me well for SPF but I do also have my La Roche Posay tinted sun cream I'm also gonna put over the top as well and it gives you a nice like a sheer tint so I really love this then I got my Charlotte Tilbury eye cream and then I got 
given this little sample from Clarins the other day, which is like a nighttime moisturizer. So I'll try this out and see how I like it. But for my normal my nighttime moisturizer, I always use the Elemis Plumping Pillow Facial. I am obsessed with it, it's my favourite, so I'm taking that. Then to take my makeup off, I've got this Elemis Pro Collagen. This is a tiny little one, so this, this fits in well. Then for lip balm, I'm going to take these two. I've got my Brazilian Kiss one and then the Hello Sunday. This has an SPF of 50 in it, so my lips are definitely not going to dry out. I have no excuse for my lips drying out this time, so this better work. <laughs> because I've recently just tanned and I'm going to re-tan again and wash it off tomorrow, so I'm going to be pretty tanned. My tan normally lasts like four days or something, so it should work out well, but so my face has a little bit of colour, I am going to pop some of this on, which is the Saint Tropez Self Tan. I love this stuff. I love this stuff so much. It is like a miracle in a bottle. It just makes my skin, my face, just perfectly tanned. Um, this is a beauty on holiday. And then some little toothpaste and floss. So I'm just going to pop that into this now. Hopefully they're all going to fit. Okay, yes, they fit. Next is face and body. So this is a face wash that I'm going to use during the day. I've got my Elemis for the night time to take off my makeup. This goes with the blue thing. I don't really know how... <laughs> it was on offer, so I ended up getting them both. But I think you spray this on after that. So that's going in there. I got this for free. So it's a soap sponge. So I'm just taking it. This is my dreamy body wash. I love this stuff so much. So that is my body wash. And then I've got this luscious thing here, which I'm going to be spraying on after showers. Then I've got some Vaseline and some SPF 30. I've got my razor, which is a fresh one and body lotion guys i'm so sad this is actually going to be um disney are actually going to get rid of this brand it was a mini that we got in april and i've not opened it because i was going to save it but it, it's coming with me and these two oh my god so in the parks because we're on our feet a lot <sighs> this stuff saved me last time this is the foot magic uh, by palmer's it has like a soothing effect afterwards. I swore by this with my feet. My feet really killed. So I swore by this. And then I ended up buying the scrub when I came back home. So the scrub works well as well. And then for hair care, I've just got my wet brush. And then I've got my White Company purifying shampoo and conditioner. And then I've just got some clips. Um, that was 75p on clearance. We love a bargain. And... <laughs> do you know what i did there can you see what i did there i have want to take this because it smells so good so i've just got these little plastic pots and i'm gonna pop some of that in this smells divine so i don't want to take the the full lot on holiday because it's quite heavy so if i can use just a little bit and pop them both in here it'll work well all right moving on to like little bits extra to take we're gonna have barocca every day i've not had it in a long time then i don't normally get a, any allergies whilst over there but you just never know so take that some plasters i've gone more into detail on my next vlog about these just these are what we actually got in april um ibuprofen tablets from over there so i'm just taking them again and then in here is my contraceptive pill it was a disney mints that i had i bought a new one in april so these actually have disney mints in and we're going to take these on the plane with us but yeah that was the old one it's so cute all right so that's all my toiletries for a week i think that's pretty good for me considering next i'm gonna do makeup last because i've still to pick out my makeup but next we're gonna move on to shoes and clothes all right so i've got all my clothes in a pile it looks a mess i know but trust me when i sort it out in a minute it will not so bear with and i'm gonna just do a quick rundown of everything i'm taking because it should not take that long with it only being a week right right so for dresses i'm thinking of taking this cute one from zara it is very light and airy so i think it'll be perfect because i ain't sure what the weather's going to be like i've been told to dress for summer a british summer but also it can be quite cold so i'm taking all sorts here then i've got another white dress which is exactly this 
it's similar it's very similar this one's a bit more heavier this one i probably wear more for night time but um or if we're gonna go to a nice restaurant or something i'll wear that and then another white one but this one's more stringy and very more lightweight as well i love this dress so much like a princess so this is more during the day if it's a hot day i've kind of color coordinated it so therefore you're going to see a couple of colors the similar after one another then my dress that i wore last year i don't think i wore it that often to be honest did i even have this dress last year i can't remember but i've got it in pink i've got it in green i've got it in blue and i've just recently bought the same one in purple it is that nice and airy and per it's just perfect for disney world then i've got another green dress i'm thinking more animal kingdom for this kind of styled dress and i also need to find my belt now that i've just remembered um a nice belt to go around just to make the look nice i've actually got a disney belt and it's got mickey mouse on so i need to find that then a longer dress it's just for comfort i'm mainly getting dresses for like comfort that i know i'm really comfortable in this dress is super long it goes down to my feet so this is a style where if it's a colder day i can even put a jacket over it then this dress that i've literally had for years i just can't let go of it it's just you know it, it's just such a lovely summery color as well and just i just love the color i've, I've had this for years and i think i got it yeah i got it from primark it's just my favourite. And then another one that I wore to Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. Again, this one was really comfortable, so I'm just going to retake this. And then my last dress, this is the purple one to my green. And like I said, I've got blue and pink because they are just my favourite dresses. They're just so light and airy. And listen, this is what we're doing. I need comfort. So I use these nice little shorts banks whatever you want to call them i don't really know what the actual name is for them but where even is the top oh here it is but i got it from mns let me just see what they're actually called if it says it no it doesn't say but anyway i got it from mns these are the best i've got two of them if you suffer with chafing or just really really like it's hot and it's a sweaty day and you know you just need some extra comfort these underneath a dress or whatever are the best thing i've ever had i used to put my cycling shorts underneath my dress it was not a great idea these are so light and airy these are exactly designed for heat so it's perfect i'm going to link them down below if i find them but honestly i, I shave a lot especially in the heat and these have done me wonder i used to feel so uncomfortable with wearing dresses because i knew that was going to happen now i don't because these are perfect i highly recommend then moving on to jumpers i you've probably seen this one this one was in my primark haul if you've watched it it is just a mickey mouse and pluto one it's a hoodie jumper and i've got this one which is a mickey mouse again and it's a gray jumper from primark and then i haven't wore this in such a long time i haven't wore it in a long time because i, I even forgot about it i've got this in black as well but i can't believe i've never been able to really wear it in florida but i think i'm going to be able to wear it this time and it's my spirit jersey it is the grey one, it has Walt Disney World on the back, it's like all gold. If there is another one that I like out there, I'm thinking this time I want to purchase another one. So I've got this and a black one, but I'm only going to take this one this time. I have a size small, but spirit jerseys in Disney World are always like extra big. So this is perfect. And then my bottoms, if it's a colder day, I've got brown leggings, black leggings. Now these leggings are ribbed, I got them from H&M. Again, everything I show I will link down below. These are absolutely perfect. I am in love with these leggings. They're so comfortable. I'm hardly out of them. Like, This is why I need to change my style this year. I wear leggings all the time because they are so comfortable from H&M. And then I've got these ones that I've had a while um, that just say Disney on them. And then I've just bought, again from H&M, black cycling shorts. And then these are the brown ones which is such a nice colour. So I've got a brown pair and a black pair. I really wanted a grey pair, but they sold out. 
but they are such a nice material as well. And then I showed in my last haul, my Primark haul, some socks and I'm just going to wear them with my shoes. And for jackets in the evening or in the morning, I've got my beloved Disney World one. Oh, I am obsessed with this one. It is just the most beautifulest one. Look at the back. I loved when they brought this design out, especially when they brought it out in a magic band and a pin. I got it all. I want them to like do more of this style. It's just stunning. And then my last jacket for the evening that I've recently bought, still got the tag on, is the 50th one. This one's a different style jacket. This one's more like a, if it was raining. It's got the 50th, it has Walt Disney World's 50th here and then on the back it's got a design of Disney World's 50th again so yeah it's more like a raincoat the way it feels that's all the clothes I'm taking this was the easiest kind of style packing video that I could have possibly ever made because it was so easy just picking everything out then for shoes now guys don't judge me the state of these shoes but they are so comfortable it's unbelievable but the state of these shoes i literally got them especially for my holiday in april last year and i've not worn them since and this is what they look like just from that two week holiday i feel embarrassed to show you but you know we're all real here yeah look at them but nobody's going to see the bottoms they're all going to see the sparkly top so let's just imagine that so if you see any pictures of me with these on i bet you'll laugh because you know what the bottoms look like but these are so comfortable then i've just recently purchased some more sandals hopefully they're okay for me I feel a bit hard they was cheap it was just a cheap quick thing because i didn't couldn't remember if i actually chucked them sandals or not and then i found them now so I'm going to see how they go. And then I got some new sketches at Christmas time. I've not even wore them. They've still got the stuff in. So I need to try these on and hopefully they fit. But I'm going to be taking them because last year I wore my Air Forces. And they was perfect but I did really wear them down as well. So hopefully sketches with them being a bit more designed for like heat and stuff. I'll be more cooler in them and they'll be more comfortable as well. Moving on to vlogging essentials and little bits and bobs that I need to bring. I've got my earphones just for the plane. Because I love listening to music on the plane. Like, away with my feelings. Looking out the window. Hopefully we get a window seat. <laughs> then I've got my camera charger. Obviously we need them. Not going to lie, this is the most crappest battery I have. I've got, lucky enough, two of these though, so they, they last a long time, but this is for backup. This is for, like, this only lets me vlog for an hour tops and that's it, whether these go on for a while. I've got an American Apple charger. I have also got a charging bank for when we're in the park, so everything lasts longer. I've got US plugs. This is for the case, just to see how much it weighs so then we, we don't get a shock. Hopefully we don't this time. Then I've just got these, just because they come really handy, um, because obviously Scott takes all of his bits. I'm just basically showing you just my bits here, so. And then we've got the GoPro that we are taking as well. Oof, I feel a bit flush from all that. The last couple of things are little extra bits. The next thing is my hand luggage and what I'm gonna be packing in my hand luggage. But before I show you that, I've also got a park bag, which is my beloved lounge fly bag. I am obsessed. These sparkly sequin ones are my absolute go-to and my favourite. I love them. To, I love them so much. So I've got that one. That was my only lounge fly. And I swore that I was only just going to get that and I wasn't going to collect the lounge fly bags until this one came and i'm obsessed with remy he's like the little the cutest cutie ever this would work so well at food and wine festival because that he's like the mascot of food and wine festival but i am going to be probably taking it away this time for festival of the arts and then probably again for flower and garden festival because they're all about food so i think it goes pretty well who knows if i find another lounge fly bag out there i mainly want sequin ones though there is a nice pale pink sequin one that i'm obsessed with and i hope to god 
I find it. Moving on to all my other extra bits. So this is like things that I'm putting in my hand luggage. Not this, but this needs to go in the case, but I will be putting it in my part bag so it kind of goes well in with it. It's We only got, because of the character meets not really meeting when we got this, I'm sure we just got Daisy. And then I keep my passports in here. So this is obviously going in my hand luggage. We've got our passports in there and other little bits that we need. I've got mints for the plane. Oh, also these beauties. And some chubby chub lollies. This is my bag for the plane. This is my Dooney and Burke Park bag. Scott got it me as a present for my birthday last year and uh, it's mainly my Florida bag. It's mainly what I'll take away as a park bag when I go on holiday to Florida and Disney and stuff. So this is only for special occasions. You know it's serious when this bag comes out. Then I'm not taking all these guys, but I don't really know which one to pick. I'm thinking Belle. I feel like I'm in my bell era right now. I wish there was a Rapunzel one, but Belle is second best for me. She's like, she's a close tie with Rapunzel. Oh, and Tiana. There should have been like a green one for Tiana. She is just the best as well. So, and then I'm going to take my L'Occitane hand cream. So I've picked it now. I'm going to pick Belle. But how cute are they with the princesses? I really just wanted to show you them. If I can find these again, I will link them down below because they're just the cutest. I've just realised. So Belle's there and behind her is like a rose and then Sleeping Beauty's got her fairy godmothers behind her. Ah, oh, Jasmine's got her carpet, Ariel's got the sea and Snow White's got some birds behind her. That's so cute. So yeah, I'm going to take my Belle one. And that I need to remember to get the battery. You just pop some water in there. It works wonders in the parks. And I bet you saw this before, but yes, I have jumped on the hype. I actually, believe it or not, got this in September last year. Was promising one of my friends at work that I'd be reading it. But I was currently reading another book at the time. Then I kept stopping and starting. But um, I'm nearly finished my other book now. But I'm going to just start this whilst on the plane. It's meant to be good. I've heard such good reviews. Plus it went viral on TikTok as well. So I'm guessing like, if you've seen this book, you know, you know what it's about. You've probably read it. So let me know. And then because it's a long fly, I've just got me and Scott some mindful activity books. Just, just really cute, really. And I've also got this little cute Disney bound that I got med. And it's just got my pencils in because i'm a big child look at that we have an elsa sharpener guys living my best life do you know what's really sad i'm just so excited to go on the plane and be able to do this workbook it's a mindfulness one i'm so excited to be able to color it and just start a fresh a fresh book and do all the tasks in it and stuff <laughs> Okay, next is magic bands that I need to fish out. I am going to see if I want to get another magic band when I'm there. I don't know whether to get one of them big chunky ones that they now do that reacts with the statues and the castle, the Epcot ball and stuff like that. I'm going to see when I'm over there, but I am going to take my pink sparkly magic band just in case I don't see any others because there's no point in me getting another magic band when I've got one already. And we're also going to retake this. So if you didn't know already, if you purchase a popcorn bucket and you bring it back to the stands, no matter what popcorn bucket it is, you can bring a Christmas popcorn bucket in the middle of summer. Do you know what I mean? They will actually refill it, refill the bucket for you at a lower price. Can't remember how much the price is, but it's far more cheaper than buying an actual popcorn with a popcorn bucket and stuff. So... Just a little handy tip. So we're retaking this one. It's just a cute bucket from um, the 50th, which is nearly over. This is the last time we'll be able to go to the 50th. And I feel emotional saying that, to be honest, because I really love the 50th. I don't know what I'm going to feel like when the castle doesn't have its beautiful look. I was so unsure at first, but I just fell in love with that castle. So I'm going to take all of the 50th stuff that I possibly can in this trip emotional times but happy times at the same time all right so the last thing is accessories so these are everything i take i don't really wear a lot of jewelry when i'm on holiday so we've got my earrings 
which I actually got from Disney. I got a lot of questions um, asking in my last Disney vlog where I got my earrings from, but they wasn't the best, if I'm honest. They wasn't sterling silver or anything like that. These ones were, so I can't wait to wear these. I've actually not wore these at all yet. Scott bought them me in April, so I've purposely saved them. And then I've got the matching necklace to go with. Same with the earrings and necklace, sterling silver, so it won't leave me any like weird green marks around my neck or anything like my last one um, was doing. These are my favourite. Ever. I got them from some small shops from Etsy um, and Instagram. They're really, really colourful. This one's my favourite. I love this one. A special, special person gave me this when I was going through a tough time. And I'll never forget it. So, Kirsty, if you're watching, thank you. I love you. Then my Apple Watch. I just changed the, the watch straps to this. Then my sunnies. I don't know which ones to take yet. These ones are definitely my favourite. I love these. These are a bit groovy, so. so. There is a couple of things I need to actually pick up today that I just keep forgetting and now I've just remembered and I need to urgently go unless they have them at the airport. I don't want to wait and they not be there. So I need to get some Bondi Sands after sun. I want to try that one this time because I don't have any after sun. And just a few extra bits that I need to get. I forgot to show you, but this is my deodorant. This was advertising a lot, so I ended up just getting it. I'm one of them. We sell it in boots, so I it was right in front of me, so I was like, why not? This is so good. I'm gonna see how it is in hot, hot weather though. And I'll let you all know if it's worth it or not though. And as for perfume as well, I have got the Jo Malone, the blush suede one. But I want to get a different one at the airport because this is mainly my summer one. So I want to get like a more well it's my spring summer one i want to get more like a like a like a really fresh one and there was one that's the bluebell one that smells like flight of passage a little bit i think so i think i might get a bigger bottle of that because that smells so good but yeah i'm gonna get my perfume at the airport so you'll see in my travel vlog which one i'll pick the last thing to take is ears oh my god this is the best part of the video all right, so this is my ear collection. So I need to spend a couple of minutes just trying to pick out what kind of ears I want. This, I should have been well prepared more. All right, so I'm taking pretty standard ears this time. Um, only because I think I might get some whilst I'm out there. So I'm going to take these standard Minnie Mouse ears. I just always have to take these ones. These are like the original ones. Then I'm going to take these cute little crystally ones my rose gold ones these ones are a must for animal kingdom my cute little princessy one it's got all the princesses on then my beloved light pink the this is the kind that i want my lounge fly sequin bag in so i'm desperate for it it's the it's such a cute color and then my last pair which are these yellowy ones i usually wear these for flower and garden they're very springy but I'm thinking of taking them again this time because of the yellow dress that I'm bringing. All right, everyone, we are right back where we started. I That has taken me an hour, an hour just to do and show you all, but it's so worth it. I love these kind of videos. I am actually not packing just yet because I need to put all of my clothes through the wash. Yes, last minute crystal here. I told you, I told you, I told you I was last minute. I still need to get my knickers, I still need to get my bras all put together. I think a few more just plain white socks, um, as well as the Seven Dwarfs ones. And then I'm ready. I need to do my makeup as well, and then I'm actually ready. We literally go to the airport tomorrow, but we're not going until the afternoon time. So I have enough time tonight to wash all my clothes, get them dry in the dryer, and then I have to pack officially tomorrow morning. So yeah, I'm going to get the little bits that I can, like toiletries and stuff, in my suitcase right now. And then sort my life out thank you so much if you got this far and you watched the video i hope you enjoyed it i am so excited we are going to florida for seven nights staying at disney world there is going to be the next vlog up is going to be a prep with me where i do my tan and i share a bit more of the holiday and stuff and then after that every wednesday at 5 p.m and every sunday at 10 a.m there is going to be disney vlogs we're going to do a pre-travel day we're going to do a travel day and then i'm going to vlog as much as i can i really want to switch it up this year with my vlogs and do different style of a more vloggy one last year was my first ever ones and i was super nervous as well 
um, just because they was my first ever ones and also we hadn't been for a long time so I wanted to also just take as much as I could in whilst also having a balance of at least vlogging it as well so we certainly did that but I didn't get as much footage as I would have liked and therefore it was a lot of music and then vlogs and a lot of just showing you more things but this time I want to be more vloggy, more talky, showing you more things. It's like you're actually there with me this time. I want you to feel like that as well, like we're just walking down Main Street together. That's my style of vlog this year, so hopefully you like them ones as well. Um, I'm sure I, you will all let me know very soon when they're up. I cannot wait. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram. It's Crystal Nancy Olivia. I'm going to be posting all of my daily stuff on the all our disney holiday of little snippets behind the scenes of the vlogs of what we're getting up to again like you're there in real time on my instagram so make sure you follow me on there so make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already become part of the bff club and i am so excited i know i keep saying it but we are going to disney world <sighs> I still got a lot to do guys, I don't know why I can't get this excited just yet, but just looking at all the stuff, knowing that it's going to go in my suitcase, knowing that I'm going to go to the airport, it just makes my heart melt. I will see you on the next video, it's going to be a fun one. I love you to the moon and back, lots and lots of love. Bye!